Hello, my little gravy boats, and welcome to episode three of Tortuga. I've got a lot to show you, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so to get started, I would like to announce that I'm done with this building. <laughs> now, you might be thinking to yourself, but Haley, it's not done. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm giving up. <laughs> now, the reason that I'm giving up is because I've sunk so much time and effort into our other base, which is just over there, and I will show you guys what we've been doing. But, yeah, I'm gonna drop this build. First of all, because it's just... Eh. Oh my. Oh, oh my. We're gonna hop up here real quick. Give me a second. Okay. So, when I made the block palette for this, it looked a lot better in the creative world. I didn't make this roof. I don't know what the issue is building it here in survival on the, like, on the server. But when I made the block palette, I loved it so very much. And I don't know what happened, but I just don't love it so very much anymore. <laughs> so, we're just going to scrap this idea and continue with our base, which is now over there where James is. And I'm going to sell all of this copper after it oxidizes. Plus I've got a bunch that isn't oxidized. It's just gonna be like a one, one off kind of thing in my shop once we have the shopping district open and ready to go to build in. Yeah, um, and then the concrete, I'm probably gonna see if D is still doing her concrete shop and I'm just going to donate all of this concrete that I've got. It's all cyan. D if you're watching and it'll just be a bunch of cyan concrete you don't have to get. The other thing is this is our updated wall of player heads. Hello? This is our updated wall of player heads. There's still a bunch that I need to try and get. If anybody is willing to give me their noggin, I will gladly accept it. Hello? Rude. And then these are all of the mob heads that I've got. Snowfrog was trying to help me organize them because I was just kind of placing them as I got them. But we're going to dismantle this little build thing here as well. And we're going to make a nice little, I guess, trophy house, if you will, in this section here where this is. I'm probably gonna keep uh, the deep slate and this spruce as like the foundation blocks, but the concrete and the copper absolutely are, they're gonna go. And I'm going to stick more with some kind of design that incorporates these blocks instead, maybe a few others, I'm not quite sure just yet. But yeah, we're going to put our head section here after I get rid of all of this. And then the other thing that I've got going on over here is I'm going to be breeding up some pigs to try and get a pig head. I know I'm a monster, but we've also got this new and improved wheat farm. Yes. Yes. We've also got some bees. I don't think these beehives over here have any in them quite yet, but we have four over here and they've all got bees in them. I've been collecting the honey and stuff from it uh, for some honey blocks because over there, when I show you guys our base and what's been going on, there's a project that needs honey blocks, or at least it's better to have the honey blocks versus what I actually used, which was cobble walls, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. The other thing is this turtle and axolotl sanctuary that I've got going on. So the axolotls are over here. We have a bunch. Oh, I fell. I don't think there's as many as we used to have because they die when they're on land. And I just added this like a couple minutes ago to try and prevent that from happening. So I'm not quite sure how many we have now, but when I move them all over here from over in that pit we had them in, I think there was 28. But we're trying to breed them up to get the blue one. And it's going to take a bunch of tropical fish and breeding time. 
And then over here, we've got our turtle sanctuary. And we've got, I started off with two, of course, and then I bred them and they laid some eggs and I moved them over here. And that's the last egg from the first batch that we still have to hatch. The other, uh, there was only one that hatched, which is one of these turtles. And then I just bred them again and they've got two more here. So I'm thinking I wanna try to encase this in glass, like make a, a dome, I think, of sorts over this section. And then I guess all that I have to show you guys now is mine and James's base over that away because I think that's everything that I've done here. Other than the sheep farm, I've integrated all the sheep and it's an absolute mess. Here's my mess. It's a lot easier to shear them that way, all right? Don't judge me. All right, I guess we'll do a nice fly around so I can give you guys a nice aerial view. So this is what we got going on. You can see from the top here. We got a lot going on. <laughs> so as for plans for this section here, since I'm here, all of this is going to be this warped nylium or whatever the heck a doodle it's called. <laughs> I just have this section here to do. It's just a pain because each block you have to bone meal. So it takes a so many, so many bones. Uh, and then we've got, of course, our basalt roads here, which James is absolutely in love with and will not let me change. I'm not so sold on the basalt here for the roads, but it is what it is. And then this section, I'm not quite sure what we're doing with just yet, but this is one of our little houses here. I used all of the warped stuff with some red accents. And then this is the original, which I believe I showed in the last Tortuga episode, but I think I might have added a few more things. So yeah, this is the original, the red, and then some of the warped, uh, yeah, the warped accents. And then over here we've got our animal farm thingies, which are all going to be this green like this. Kind of like to simulate grass, I suppose. And then we've got some motivational signs. Smile, tomorrow will be worse. And then on the other side, yeah, be careful where you step. We're in the underworld after all. So yeah, um, be careful. There's gonna be fire everywhere coming soon. And this here is the villager trading hall. There is a villager up there. How the heck a doodle did you get up there, good sir? All right. But yeah, this is uh, the where we words. This is where we transport the villagers up into there, and then I'll show you guys the inside there in a second. But yeah, our villager breeders over there. We're just kind of trying to swap out all of these blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out real quick, and then I will show you guys the rest. So we've got a bunch of villagers in here. They're all gonna have signs above to show what trades they do book wise of course and we've got all of our farmers up here which we do like melons pumpkins for emeralds stuff like that but yeah this is the trading hall i think i still need to do some detail work on the inside it's looking a bit blah at the moment it'll look a bit better once we get all of these up and i think i'm gonna do some glow squid ink on all of these let me out but yeah i really like how these blocks work together. I think it just looks really nice. I don't know. Could be just me. <laughs> uh, but this is our storage room. I don't think this is going to be main storage, but there's a good bit of stuff in here. So we'll check that out. This is basically just like a bunch of our building blocks that we're using for in here. And this is going to be where all of our books go after we get them all. And then there's a basement section down here which is storage for our farms that we've got. We've got pumpkins, melons, sugar cane, and we've also got the cactus farm, which I don't know where the cactus is going. That's just random junk. I know it's hooked up, but yeah, I have no idea where, it, where it's going. I think it was over here, but I don't see cactus. So I'm not sure what James did with that. But yeah, we've got that going. I've also got over here 
Yeah, you can see that's our cactus farm. We did it yesterday. It's kind of hard to see in there, but we used the warped nether block, nether wart block things for, for the walls and stuff to stick with the theme. And then the polished deep slate. Our melon and pumpkin farm we're working on converting to the nether blocks. Over here, these are getting out of hand. Gotta trim these bad boys. Let's trim ya. Trimmy trim. There we go. So this is gonna be somewhat of like a little park kind of area. So I made these little benches of s sorts. Yes, bench, bench of sorts. Uh-huh. And then this, of course, I think I showed was our little iron farm, which is currently broken because I think a villager died or something or got lost. I don't, I don't know, but it's broken at the moment. But we converted these blocks in here. Over here, I've got a sea pickle farm because I'm pretty sure that I said before, but I'm going to have a dye shop on the server this season. And this is my glow squid ink farm. It uses like the axolotls to kill the glow squids and it does really well. I'm super happy with it, but you use the tinted glass and if anybody wants, that's not what I wanted. If anybody wants the tutorials for any of these, I can have them linked down in the description for you guys if you want them. But yeah, that's what's going on here. We have two beacons because we were finally able to kill the wither, which James was super excited about. But I think we're going to have a few. I think he was talking about having them one on each corner, maybe. So we're going to obviously do them do the colors within the theme. I'm not sure what else we have planned for in the middle here, but that section over there, I forgot to mention when I was showing it a little bit ago, where all of this green is. This is where our house is going to go. We're planning on building like a mini castle of sorts out of deep slate, mostly, I think. And then we're going to have this deep slate wall going around, which of course I'll do my block variation like I've done with these buildings here. And I'm just really super excited for all of this to come together because I'm, I'm happy with how it's looking so far. And I think it's just going to look really awesome whenever it's all done. The other thing that I could probably show you guys is the shopping district since it's now open. Um... I will do that here in a second, but first, while I'm here, I think I'm going to finish off this roof because we've got uh, black glass up there and just the back of it needs to be fixed. Yeah, back here. Whoa. All right. Okay. <laughs> I also need to get some more of the deep slate tile stairs because that's what I was using here for the main part of the roof this was interesting to put a roof on <laughs> because we've got the rails on the sides here so i didn't include that in the roof i didn't want the build to look weird plus we've got that section over there where we transport the villagers so it's just kind of a difficult thing to cover i guess is what i'm trying to say with a roof so i'm going to yeah, okay, didn't need all that glass anyway, I'm done. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys what the shopping district looks like for now. And then I might try to get something here in this section. I don't know if James has plans for it, but hmm, I gotta think of something. Because I really, I'm in a building mood today. So uh, I guess we're gonna get crack a it. Okay guys, so we're here at the shopping district and these boxes here are for donations to build the roads because we've got this being our shopping district hub. So we've got roads that are going to be going in like the cardinal directions. So this is the east and west. These roads were built by Rosaline and I love them. They're so nice. And then the north-south ones are going to be built by Bread, and I'm super excited to see when he's done building his. But this is our shopping district, and I really like it. It's really cool. Of course, we have to stick with the pirate theme, because Tortuga and piratey things. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm super excited for this to be open. Uh, the plans for this are going to be the reason why we have these roads. So we're gonna come out to this outer wall and then outside of the wall, people are going to be able to build their own little islands or their own ships. And that will be where they have their shops. So yeah, it's gonna be really cool whenever everybody starts building shops and stuff. You'll just see like little islands and boats and stuff all out here. Not, not, not those boats. That's, no. <laughs> But we've also got this guardian. I always fall. One moment, please. So we've got this guardian temple that's right here. Nothing can spawn there. I think the elder guardian things might still be in there, but I'm not quite sure if anybody took care of that or not. However, so this is going to be available for people, I believe. Um, I think we're going to be like voting or something I can't remember. So don't quote me on anything. I don't remember brain not work properly. But yeah, main goal of what I'm trying to say here is that I'm just excited for the shopping district to be open. Big plans. Now, speaking of big plans, we're going to head on back to our base. And then I'm going to figure out what it is I wish to build because I need to start building some things over at our base and try to get it all situated, basically. So I will meet you over there. All right, guys. So I'm not quite sure what I want to build. I don't want to build anything and then have James all upsetty spaghetti because <laughs> I don't know what he has planned for everything. I don't know where he wants everything to be placed, basically. I know over here, I think we're planning mostly farms. Seeing as how this is where he wanted me to put these. And then this section here is going to have like the crimson and warp trees and stuff like that for our little park type section. So I think what we're going to do instead is try and mine for some ancient debris. Because we've got our boots and our helmet together. And we just need to get some netherite for our leggings. And I assume we should have a chest plate for the just in case situations. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I will meet you guys in the nether. I think I got, yeah, my, my picks are all good. I'm gonna drop some crap off and then we're gonna go mining. Gotta get the goods. Might be beneficial to have some gold on us first. Uh, yep, yeah. yoink. All right, so I have heard the best level for ancient debris is Y15. So that's where we currently are. I also heard that quarry mining, so just taking it all out, seems to also be the best bet. So we are going to do this for a little while and hopefully not die <laughs> in the process. And I will let you guys know if we find anything. Two seconds after I stopped recording and what do you see? Ancient debris. <laughs> I am so sorry. I did not mean to make that rhyme, but it did. <laughs> so, we found one. We're gonna keep going. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
Link in the description for the tutorial if you want it. All right, guys, we've got our netherite ingots. We've got our stuff. I am just going to use this one. <laughs> so here we go. We've got leggings and a chest plate. Oh, yeah. I have never gotten debris before. This is the first season I've ever gotten it. So the fact that we did that is just, I don't know, very exciting things happening. Now look at us. Oh, I got to take that off. Hold on a second. Now we got to enchant the chest plate. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, gently demolish the like button. Gently. Very important. And if you wish, you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat. But thank you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.